Good morning, grade 9. Hope you are all doing well and being safe. This is Ms. Pamela Tini giving the physics course. Today we are going to continue section 1 in chapter 6, which talks about work. So please open your books on page 195 and follow up with me. In the previous session, we studied how we can find work if force and displacement are in the same direction and if force and displacement are at an angle. So work, if force and displacement are in the same direction, is equal to force times displacement. And work, if force and displacement are at an angle, is equal to force times displacement times cosine angle, which is the angle between force and displacement. Today we are going to talk about the total work when we have several forces acting on an object. So the work done by separate forces can be summed. When more than one force acts on an object, the total work is the sum of the work done by each force separately. Thus, if force F1 does work W1, force F2 does work W2, and force F3 does work W3, and so on, then the total work is W total equals W1 plus W2 plus W3 plus etc. So we find the work of each force and we add them to find the total work. This is what we mean by the work done by separate forces can be summed. In the figure in front of you, you can see an example of an object with several forces acting on it. In this figure, we can see a box that is being pushed on a table. Four forces act on the box. First, the gravitational force, which is the weight acting on the box downwards. Then the normal force, which is the surface force acting from the table on the box upwards. And we already know that the normal force and weight have the same magnitude but opposite directions. Then we have the applied force, which is the force that is pushing the box. And the frictional force, which is the force that opposes the motion of the box. Note. Since individual amounts of work can be positive or negative, it's possible that the total work may be zero even though the individual amounts are non-zero. In the previous session, we explained that work is negative if the angle between force and displacement is greater than 90 degrees, and work is positive if the angle between the force and displacement is less than 90 degrees, and work is zero if the angle between force and displacement is equal to 90 degrees. So when we add the work done by separate forces, the total amount of work may be zero even if the individual amounts are non-zero, since they can be negative or positive or zero. Example, as you and your friends prepare to play Rock Hero, you push on the drum set to slide it into position. You exert a horizontal force of F applied equals 24 newtons. Kinetic friction opposes motion and you slide the drums a distance of D equals 1.5 meters forward. The mass of the drum set is M equals 5.51 kilograms. What is the total work done on the drums if the coefficient of kinetic friction between the floor and the drum set is 0 0.407? In this example, I will show you the steps that you need to follow in order to find the amount of the total work acting on an object when several forces are exerted on this object. First, you need to calculate each force acting on the moving object. So if you do not know the magnitudes of the forces, you need to calculate them. Here we have weight, which is the gravitational force, equals m times g, equals 5.51 times 9.8 meter per second squared, equals 54.29 newtons. Of course, it is downwards. Then we have the normal force that is exerted by the uh, surface on the drum set, and it is equal in magnitude to the weight, so it is equal to 54.29 newtons, but it is exerted upwards and not downwards, so it is equal in magnitude and opposite in direction to the weight of the object. Then we have the applied force, which is the force that the person exerts to push the object or to slide the object. It is given to be 24 newtons forward. And we have the force of kinetic friction, which opposes the motion, so it is backwards. And the magnitude is calculated using the equation of kinetic friction, which you already know, equal to coefficient of kinetic friction times the normal force. So it is equal to 0 0.407 times 54.29 newtons, and it is equal to 22.09 newtons. So here in the first step, you have the magnitudes of all the forces acting on the moving object. In the second step, we need to draw the free body diagram of the moving object in order to visualize the situation more clearly. So here, the object is represented as a dot because this is a free body diagram, and the forces are represented as vectors. So we have Fg and Fn are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. Fg, which is the gravitational force, is downwards. Fn, which is the normal force, is upwards. 
we have the applied force, which is 24 newtons forwards, and the kinetic friction force, which is 22 newtons backwards. Here I must note that I rounded the numbers. In the third step, we need to calculate the individual amounts of work. So in this step, we calculate the amount of work done by each force being exerted on this object. So first, we have the gravitational force. So the work done by gravity is equal to gravitational force times displacement times cosine angle. Gravitational force is 54 newtons, which we found in the first step, times 1.5 meters, which is the displacement of the object as given in the problem, times cosine negative 90 degrees. Why is the angle no negative 90 degrees here? Because gravitational force is downwards and displacement is forwards. So as you can see in the figure to the right, the angle between them is negative 90 degrees. Now we calculate the work done by the normal force by multiplying the normal force by the displacement by cosine angle. The normal force is equal to 54 newtons times 1.5 meters, which is the displacement, times cosine 90. Why is the angle 90 degrees? As you can see in the figure to the right, in the lower part, the displacement is forwards and the normal force is upwards. So the angle between them is positive 90 degrees. In both cases, the work done is equal to zero joules. Now we calculate the, the work of the applied force by multiplying the magnitude of the applied force by the displacement of the object times cosine angle. The angle is the angle between force and displacement. So the applied force is forward and the displacement is also forward, so the angle between them is zero degrees. So we do 24 newtons times 1.5 meters times cosine zero degrees, and the angle is equal to 36 joules. This is the amount of work done by the applied force. Finally, we calculate the work done by the force of kinetic friction by multiplying the magnitude of the force of kinetic friction by the displacement of the object times cosine angle. The force of kinetic friction opposes motion, so it is backwards, and displacement is forwards, so the angle between them is equal to 180 degrees. So in order to calculate the amount of work done by the force of kinetic friction, we do 22 newtons, which is the magnitude of the force of kinetic friction, times 1.5 meters, which is the displacement of the object, times cosine 180 degrees. And the angle is equal to negative 33 joules. As you can see in this example, we got work that is equal to zero, we got work that is positive, and we also got work that is negative. Now, in the final step, we add the individual amounts of work to find the amount of total work. So W total is equal to WG, which is the work done by gravity, plus WN, which is the work done by the normal force, plus W applied, which is the work done by the applied force, plus W kinetic, which is the work done by the force of kinetic friction. This is equal to zero joules which is the work done by gravity, plus zero joules, which is the work done by the normal force, plus 36 joules, which is the work done by the applied force, plus negative 33 joules, which is the work done by the force of kinetic friction. And the final answer is equal to three joules. As a homework, please solve numbers 7 and 15, page 196. Follow the four steps that I explained in this video in order to solve these problems. Your homeworks must be done and submitted to me on Tuesday, May 5. Good luck, thank you, and stay safe.